Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18. It's uh, time to talk about commodities. A lot of action there. Manisha Gupta is joining us with all the update. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Morning, Sonal. Thank you so much for that. Well, I'll start with the crude oil prices where we have seen seven weeks of gains now. This week has started slightly on a weaker note here, and that is because the markets are anticipating lesser uh, demand going forward. Well, we have seen the Chinese year-on-year -year crude import surge, but on a month-on-month -month basis, the month of July wasn't so great. August is expected to be positive. That's exactly what the IEA report also says. They say that the global demand in month of June was 103 million barrels per day, which is a record. And July wasn't so great, but in the month of August, you could be looking at these strong numbers yet again. In the meanwhile, the metals haven't done so well. We've seen the gold prices close a third week down. Zinc is trading at three-week lows. Iron ore at a two-month lows. And the copper prices have started a new week, a month lows as well. Okay, all right. Thank you, Manisha, for joining us with that analysis. So that's all that's happening in the commodity space.